Hi, this is Mrs. Freifeld, and this is our next lesson on adding and subtracting integers. This is a review, so make sure you have your notes ready. The first thing you need to do is get a pencil and paper out, get your math journal so that you can send me a picture of your work, and also take notes in that math journal so that you're getting the practice that you need. Here's our quick review. If I, if I were to give you these integer chips, go ahead and pause the video and see if you can write the equation and the answer that goes with it. Okay, this is the answer to this problem. First I have, I'm starting out with negative three chips and I'm adding on it looks like eight positives. So this would be the way to write it. I could also write it like this. Both of these are exactly the same thing. Um, with the integer chips, if you remember, your zero pairs cancel one another out. And you're left with a positive five. But also remember the rules. So the rules are what you can do when you don't have integer chips. And if you look at this bottom one, the signs are different. You subtract and you use the sign in front of the biggest digit. Here's the next one. Of these two things, which one of these equations goes with that, that drawing that's on the number line? Pause the video and see if you can figure it out. Well, I'm looking at it and I see that it starts at zero, which it always does. And the first thing it does is it goes to the right, which is positive, it goes to a positive three. And both of these, that looks good to me. And then on the next number though, I'm going to the left. I'm not going to the right, so I'm looking for a negative number. Here's one. And over here, here is one. And I'm going how many spaces? One, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm going six spaces, not three. And the answer that it ends up in? Negative three. Go ahead and try and write the equation that's modeled. Okay, I would write this. You know it starts at zero, and then it goes to the left three spaces. So I'm gonna start at zero, go the negative direction three spaces, and now I go up for the next number. Again, I'm going to the left, and I'm going to the left two spaces. And then the last number, I'm going to the right, so I'm adding on, one, two, three, four spaces. And that's how you would write the equation of that, that picture that's been modeled. Okay, let's look at these. On this one, let me do this first one, then you have a shot at keeping up with it. You can only do two numbers at a time, so I underline the first two. The signs are different, so I, no, they are not, they're the same. The signs are the same, so I add them together, and I use the sign in front of the biggest digit. Everything else comes down. Now the signs are different, so I subtract, and again, I use the sign in front of the biggest digit. So the answer to the first one is a positive 12. This is a good time for you to pause the video and see what you can do on your own. Pause it, try and solve it. Okay, to solve this, the first thing I'm gonna do is take two at a time. The signs are the same, so I add them together, and I use the sign in front of the biggest digit. Everything else comes down. Again, the signs are different now, so I subtract, use the sign in front of the biggest digit, everything else comes down. 
the signs are different, I subtract and I use the sign in front of the biggest digit. Pause the video and see what you can do with that. Okay, I'm going to take two numbers at a time. The signs are different. I subtract. I use the sign in front of the biggest digit. Everything else comes down. Two numbers at a time. The signs are different. I subtract. I use the sign in front of the biggest digit. Everything else comes down. The signs are different. I subtract. I use the sign in front of the biggest digit. Everything else comes down. The signs are different. I subtract. I use the sign in front of the biggest digit. The answer is a negative 2. Okay, here, here is the same kind of a problem, but it's in a word problem, which is what, of course, you would see on a star test or on your test. Adrian was playing a game and got the following points. His score is the sum of the points. What was his ending score? Okay, I'm going to take all of these scores and I'm going to list them out here. Now you may say, why does it say the sum if you can see that this is negative or I wrote a subtraction? Because in reality what I'm doing, now watch this, is I'm putting a positive 6 plus a negative 4 plus a negative 2 plus a positive 3. That's really what I'm doing. I've just shortened it up here so it's just adding and subtracting. So now that we've said that, I'm doing two numbers at a time. The signs are different. I subtract. I use the sign in front of the biggest digit. Bring everything else down. The signs are different. I subtract and it's zero. There's no sign with zero. Zero plus three is three and it's a positive number. Okay, let's try this one. I'm going to move the turtle over here to the side. And it says a sea turtle was swimming at 25 feet below sea level. If it's 25 feet below sea level, that's a negative 25. It dove down 15 feet. So that would make it negative. And then descended 10 more feet. And that's also negative. And if you use the keywords, you should have this written down in your journal somewhere. So this is the way this problem looks. And it wants to know the elevation of the turtle at that time, or what depth was it at. at. I'm going to go ahead, and I see that the signs are the same. So I add, and I use the sign in front of the biggest digit. Bring the rest down. The signs are the same. I add and I use the sign in front of the biggest digit. And I do want to show you this. This is your new um, gridable. And as you can see, it's a little different than elementary school because in this column here, it has a place for positive and negative sign. So here's where I would write that it's negative or positive, whatever it is, and I bubble it in. So this would be negative, and here you do 50, And there, that's what that would look like. Okay, Boo Boo was playing a game and got the following points. His score is the sum of the points. What was his ending score? I'm going to make a list of those scores. Okay, now I'm going to solve them two at a time. The signs are different. I subtract, I use the sign in front of the biggest digit, everything else comes down. The signs are different, I subtract, it's zero, there's no sign, the rest of the problem comes down. The signs are, well, there is no sign in front of zero. Zero plus three is three, and it is a positive number. 
the rest of the problem comes down. The signs are different. I subtract. I use the sign in front of the biggest digit. And now I'm going to put it on that gridable. And that's how you would make negative 2. Boo Boo was playing a game with Uno cards. His score is the sum of the cards below. What is Boo Boo's score? Okay, I'm going to write them sideways. And I'm going to do two at a time. The signs are different. I subtract. I use the sign in front of the biggest digit. Everything else comes down. The signs are the same. I add. I use the sign in front of the biggest digit. Everything else comes down. And I run out of room, so let me see what I can do. Can I even move these? Yes, I can. And if I can move those, I can move this. Okay, let's keep working at it. The signs are different. I subtract. I use the sign in front of the biggest digit. Everything else comes down. The signs are different. I subtract. I use the sign in front of the biggest digit. The answer is negative 1. And that's how you bubble it in on your gridable. And here's our last page. Here's the problem. See if you can solve it on your own before I get to it. Just unpause the video when you get it. The signs are the same. I add. I use the sign in front of the biggest digit. Everything else comes down. The signs are different. I subtract. I use the sign in front of the biggest digit. My answer is negative 4. See if you can do it on your own before I show you how. I'm going to do two at a time. <clears throat> The signs are different because there's an invisible positive sign. I subtract. I use the sign in front of the biggest digit. Everything else comes down. The signs are the same. I add. I use the sign in front of the biggest digit. Everything else comes down. The signs are different. I subtract. I use the sign in front of the biggest digit. Everything else comes down. The signs are the same. I add and I use the sign in front of the biggest digit. Here's the last one. Try and do it by yourself. Take a picture of your work so that I can see it. You're going to have to send it in. Pause the video now. Do two at a time. The signs are different. There's an invisible positive sign there. You need to subtract and use the sign in front of the biggest digit. Bring everything else down. The signs are the same. You add, use the sign in front of the biggest digit. Everything else comes down. The signs are different. You subtract. You use the sign in front of the biggest digit. That's what you should be taking a picture of. Send the picture of your problem that you wrote in your math journal. Make sure that I can see your name at the top of the page and the lesson number 2.2.3 at the top. Look at the picture before you send it and make sure I can see all that. You did a great job.